My hummingbird has all its colors. A folktale from Brazil. There goes a hummingbird flying, oh so quickly. And look at the sun catch on its colors. Wow. How did it get those colors? Those beautiful, beautiful colors. Well, they say, long ago, Hummingbird was just plain gray, just plain gray. And this is what happened in the rainforest. Puma was walking, walking through the forest. Puma stepped on the nest of Mouse stepped right on Mouse's babies. Mouse was not there. Puma didn't notice. Puma kept walking. Puma came to a tree, decided to take a rest. Puma was resting. Here comes Mouse, here comes Mouse, here comes Mouse. Oh no, my babies, my babies, my babies. Someone stepped on my babies, my babies, my babies. Who did it, who did it, who did it? I'm gonna find them, I'm gonna find them. So there goes Mouse, looking, 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 looking. Ah, oh, Puma, 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 stepped on my nest. Never looking, I'll show Puma, I'll show Puma, I'll show Puma. Mouse went over to a tree and got some of the sticky sap and brought it back and put it on to the eyelids of Puma while Puma was still sleeping. Then added leaves and sticks and more sap and more leaves and more sticks and dirt covering Puma's eyes so they would not open. And then Little Mouse, before Little Mouse left, she bit Puma in the ear and said, watch where you're going next time. Watch where you're going next time. And ran off. And Puma woke and started to open its eyes and can't open its eyes and cried out, the puma's cry is an amazing sound, cried out, it filled, filled the forest. Hummingbird was flying nearby, gray, gray hummingbird, and heard the cry of puma and flew down and said, what's wrong, puma, what's wrong? My eyes, I cannot open my eyes, I cannot open my eyes, I cannot open my eyes. What happened? I don't, oh. I woke up, I heard a voice, it sounded like Mouse. And she said, watch where you're going next time. And now that I think about it, I think I, think I must have stepped on, on, on the nest with her babies in there. I didn't mean to, I didn't notice, I didn't even notice. And now I can't see, now I can't open my eyes. I'll help you, said Hummingbird. I'll help you. And hummingbirds started flitting in, getting a little out, going back, going back, back and forth, 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 until Puma could open its eyes again. And Puma said, oh, hummingbird, thank you. I will do what Miles said. I will be more careful wherever I walk. But can I help you? Can I do something for you? And Hummingbird said, no, that's okay. I'm fine. Hummingbird, I just got an idea. I love your gray feathers, but would you like colors? All different colors on your body, on your wings, on your feathers, on your body, on your head, all over, would you like that? And Hummingbird said, I guess so, I never thought about it. Stay right there, I'll be back. And Puma took off, got black from the dark in the forest, bright green from the vines, red from the flowers, silver from 
the stardust, yellow from the sunlight, way high above, and brought them all back. Close your eyes, hummingbird, close your eyes. And Puma threw all the colors, and they landed on hummingbird. And hummingbird looked, wow. Can I keep them? Oh yes, said Puma, they're yours forever. And Hummingbird flew off as happy as can be. And that's the story of how Hummingbird got all its colors.